I'm Jean Narenberg. I'm Bela Miller, and a long-term friend of 40 years with Jean. And we share a studio. We've been sharing a studio for nine years. These are the tools that I have been using up until the time that we discovered the new Princeton tools. And I liked this one at the time because it did provide me with some very wide lines and thin lines. It had a variety. But it's very stiff. It's not flexible. And it's also very wide. So I was not able to get into small areas with it. And somewhat the same could have been said for this one, which is made out of metal. Uh, the spacing is quite different in this one. And the grooves are different. So I was not 100% satisfied with either one of these tools. And I was delighted when I found the new ones. I got especially excited about the wedges because they're so, they are very flexible. You can work in small spaces. They're wonderful for traveling. I had just returned from a trip where I brought them with me and was able to use them. And they um, make great lines, which is something I've always struggled with. I guess if I was shopping in a store and saw these tools, I would start to think about what can I do with them? And what new possibilities do they create for me? So I created a set of demo boards using systematically each tool in turn to see what the various shapes look like. I think that basically they've added to the variety of marks I'm able to make and give, given me some new ideas on the kinds of marks I might want to think about making in the future. The flexibility of these tools is wonderful. I often use them holding my hand at the base so that I have a lot more movement with them and rhythm, and I like that. Did not have that with the previous ones. I also like the fact that these tools come in a variety of sizes and they're color-coded so that I can work into very small areas when I want to, and I wasn't able to do that before. And I also like them because when they're so flexible, I don't have to just use them one way. I can turn them on their sides. I find that I can twist them and create a number of concentric circles with them. And that is also very appealing to me. And I find that I can do similar things. I tend to be more partial to the wedges, but find I'm using them in ways similar in terms of turning them, hitting them flat, and making unusual ridges on the paper in the paint and dipping them into the paint directly and feeling a lot of control as I then work the paint on the canvas. Sometimes we'll pour it on the canvas itself and then use the wedges or tools to create shapes and to move things around. I also have discovered that when I have texture, especially resin type textures on a canvas, the tool, the wedge, is a wonderful way of bringing out the highlights on the top of it because I can adjust the heaviness of my hand and then create, control the amount of color I'm adding as an accent. I find that Bela gives me lots of advice and when I show her a piece she will often say, well that isn't working right and I do the same with Bela and we listen to each other so it's very symbiotic. I would agree. <laughs>